Regardless of your physique goals, protein intake determines whether you maintain, build, or lose muscle mass. But with so much conflicting information out there, it can be challenging to separate fact from fiction. So in today's video, we're going to cut through the noise and explore what the research actually says about how much protein you need. Protein is an essential macronutrient when it comes to improving hypertrophy, but unlike carbs and fats, protein cannot be stored in the body. This is because protein is in constant turnover, meaning your body is always simultaneously building or synthesizing new protein as well as breaking down others. To align with your goal of building muscle, you should be synthesizing more protein than you're breaking down, and this is measured by looking at your body's nitrogen balance. Nitrogen is a component of amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. Thus, proteins are the only macronutrient that contain nitrogen as part of their core structure, and this is what experts use to track nitrogen balance or the difference between nitrogen intake and nitrogen loss loss. Positive nitrogen balance indicates that your body has enough protein to maintain and build muscle mass, meaning you're in an anabolic state. Conversely, a negative nitrogen balance suggests that your body might start breaking down muscle tissue for energy and to support basic bodily functions, meaning you're in a state of catabolism. The question then becomes, how much protein do we need to consume in order to achieve a positive nitrogen balance? balance. According to the World Health Organization, you only need about 0.36 grams of protein per pound of body weight daily. In other words, a 175 pound man would only need around 63 grams of protein for general health purposes. This recommendation, however, does not take into account muscle breakdown from resistance training or additional protein necessary to build and repair muscle tissue. So, how much protein should you consume if you want to maximize your muscle building capabilities? While 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight daily is a great general guideline, depending on your physique goals, this can either be too much or too little. If you're on a bulk, for example, consuming more calories than you're burning and aiming to maximize muscle growth, then research shows that a protein intake of 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of body weight will suffice. Anything more and they saw no added benefit when it comes to increasing muscle mass. They did state, however, that older trainees may need to consume protein at the higher end of their recommendation, while beginners or younger individuals may be able to get away with staying at the lower end. The reason you need less protein during a bulk is because since you'll be consuming a surplus of calories, the additional fats and carbs make it less likely you'll need to break down muscle tissue for energy. Conversely, if you're in a calorie deficit or consuming less calories than you're expending, with the goal of losing fat while maintaining muscle, the body might break down muscle to convert protein into energy. According to research, individuals in a fat loss phase should aim to consume around 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight daily. Generally speaking, I recommend the lower end of this range for people with a higher body fat percentage and the higher end for those with lower body fat levels who've been dieting for an extended period of time. This is because when you carry extra fat, your body tends to use that stored fat for energy before it starts breaking down protein, and the leaner you are, the higher the likelihood of muscle protein breakdown. Now, if you're looking to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, which would require you to keep your daily calories at maintenance levels, you'll not only need protein to maintain the muscle you have, but you'll also need more of it to build new tissue. In this case, I recommend a protein intake of around 1.2 grams per pound of body weight daily. Since you'll be consuming more calories than you would during a fat loss phase, but also aiming to build new muscle, the higher protein intake is absolutely necessary. Now, with all of that out of the way, the most common and realistic goal for most trainees is to build as much muscle as possible while gaining minimal fat in the process. In that case, I recommend aiming for a small calorie surplus where you're eating slightly above maintenance, but 
also slightly below the typical bulking guidelines and consuming about one gram of protein per pound of body weight. The next question then becomes, how much protein should you consume per meal? One study published in the Journal of Physiological Reports showed that consuming 40 grams of whey protein stimulates greater muscle protein synthesis than 20 grams. Another 2016 study comparing beef intake found that consuming 70 grams of beef resulted in greater muscle protein synthesis compared to 35 grams. These findings suggest that meals with a higher protein intake may promote better muscle growth. And if you want to take it a step further, based on current evidence, spreading your daily protein intake up into four to five meals will maximize anabolism. So if you're consuming 200 grams of protein per day, break that up into four servings of 50 grams per meal to ensure you're maximizing your ability to build muscle. That said, what's most important is that you're meeting your daily protein needs and that should always be the main focus. To recap, if you're bulking up and consuming more calories than you're burning, aim for 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight daily. If you're a bit older, aim for the higher end of that range. If you're in a calorie deficit, burning more calories than you're consuming, aim for 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight, staying on the lower end if you've got a lot of fat to lose, and on the higher end if you're a bit leaner and have been dieting for a while. If the goal is to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, and you're consuming just enough calories to maintain your weight, aim for 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight daily. And if you want to take it a step further, spread your protein intake up into four meals and aim to get about 40 grams of protein per meal. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.